intern, good morning, good morning. Oh, and look at all of this. We are on our turtle overview terrace. And oh, and the red parrotfish is now pregnant. Isn't that so exciting, little girl? Oh, look at her, isn't she precious? Oh, I wish she could buy some of our, our gear. Do we have any of the little gift shops we could possibly put over here? Because, I mean, this looks like a very fun, happy area. I wonder. Let's move this, this spot. Let's move it down here. Hmm. Oops. Aw, oh, man. Oh, the bosses aren't going to be happy we didn't raise the funds that they asked us to raise in time. But that's okay, because I think that they're going to be very happy to hear about the fish boom that we have here. And I just really want that little girl to wear one of our t-shirts. We need to hurry up and find where we've got our little gift carts set up. So before she rushes off, she has a chance, if she so wishes, to buy items from us. Let's see. What's on the island items? Hmm. A lot of creatures that we do not have, such as the ground dove backpack. So it's probably better. Oh, there is the marine gift cart. Lion mane jellyfish, purple striped jellyfish. There's a lot of marine things. Let's put the marine gift cart down and see what happens. There we go. And now I feel satisfied because hopefully... Oh, look at the little ostrich! <gasps> what a cute little ostrich toy and a little crab toy. Oh, look at the walrus hats. Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. Mm -hmm. I hope I hope that she'll enjoy. Oh, she looks like she's having a great time. Oh, my goodness. Look at this intern. We're going to have to be building tanks to put all of our amazing fish in in no time. Oh, this is so exciting. And speaking of our amazing fish, though... I do believe that one of our Olive Ridley was going to lay eggs any minute now. Oh my gosh, look at this. The Purple Queen is now pregnant. <gasps> look at these guys. Oh, there's pregnancies and celebrations going on everywhere. Who's giving birth? Oh my gosh, we've already got birth being given. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> look at all the eggs. Whoa, and look at that ray splashing around. Look at all these fish eggs in turn. Oh my goodness. We're not going to be hurting for fish, that's for sure. Now, I could have sworn that one of our Olive Ridley, and by the way, ah, there she is. There she is. Is she laying her egg yet? Did she lay her egg? She's on her way to lay the egg. There we go. Oh, this is so exciting in turn. And by the way, thank you so much for so many fantastic names for our wonderful turtles. There are over a hundred names. Over a hundred that you left on my desk. So we are going to be naming turtles for many generations now. And look at all these fish eggs. We might be in trouble with that many fish eggs. I don't think this area is big enough to accommodate that many, so this is this could get very interesting. All right, but yes, we do have a nice little list of names. So let's go ahead and name this lovely girl, Olive Ridley number two, who is on her way to go lay some eggs for us. And I'm gonna name her Coral, because that was an extremely popular name that you wrote several times on my desk in turn. So we're gonna leave that there. <gasps> Did she lay her eggs somewhere? Coral, I don't think you're supposed to lay your egg like out on the open water. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it somewhere else. Is it supposed to go in the open water? There we go. Only one little egg. I didn't expect that. Oh, Coral has laid another egg. Oh, here we go. Okay, I think Coral is stuck. Let's move Coral over here. Hopefully she'll lay more eggs. Oh my gosh, she laid a whole bunch of eggs right in the water. Okay, so this is possibly first time, mom nonchalance so we might need to <laughs> this is why we're here intern this is why we are here to help out these kinds of endangered species by moving their eggs to a safer location why she thought laying her eggs out in the middle of the water was a good idea who knows but we can help her out by moving the eggs to a safe location all right coral well you're a very silly little one you know but we're gonna move all four of your little eggs over here and then we can keep a close eye on them. Oh, look at the little baby eggs! Oh, this is just fantastic. Oh, look at them in turn. So these are the tiny little turtle eggs. Oh, they're so cute. So cute. And we should get quite a bit of fame for the fact that we have had these turtles successfully breed. Also, what is this? The Axel Charitable Foundation has declared your zoo. Oh, oh, you know, they're giving us another chance. This is the same foundation that was offering to match funds for donations that our zoo received, and we weren't able to raise 1,500 funds and donations, you know, over the past little bit. So they're giving us another month to try it out. That's very kind of them. All right, let's finish. Oops, there we go. And let's finish naming these guys. So we also have Olive Riley 3. 
And we're going with Atlantis, also a very popular name that you left here on my desk intern. All right, and then we need to find where the other female is, if she's skedaddled off to somewhere. Oh, we are gonna be drowning in fish in no time. Look at all the pregnancies. Oh dear. Oh my gosh, there's so many eggs everywhere. And the spotted eagle ray is hungry. Are my zookeepers not filling up their food? Oh, let's put that there. Let's put some of the floating food somewhere just to make sure they can reach it. All right, there we go. That should help them out. And let's go back down the list. So the spotted eagle ray are doing quite well. We have a lot of fish, a lot of fish. I didn't expect to end up with that many fish so soon in turn. So this could get very interesting. Um, there we go. And there is our other female Olive Ridley. She's climbing out from under a rock that she was apparently hiding under. And she's headed into the water. So we're going to name this lovely lady Pearl because that was another very common name. And we're getting notifications, by the way, and turn to our little phone that guests need more bathrooms. I wonder if we can afford to get bigger bathrooms for them yet. Let's check out if that's a thing. Let's see. Hang in there, guesties. We do have these family vacation restrooms. Um, where should we put it? Oh, you know what? Probably another restroom area right over here it wouldn't be uncalled for. So I wonder, let's do it like this. So let's go ahead and we'll put the family restroom back here, intern. And let's go grab that sand path. And we're gonna stretch the sand path back here. And then around to where the restroom is. And let's see. Oh my gosh, the fish are laying eggs so quickly. And we still need to put in the coral, uh, the, or excuse me, the coastal birds. So that's one of our next goals. All right, let's put a bench over here. Hang in there, guesties. I know you need more bathrooms. We're trying to accommodate. I'm gonna move some trees over here. And then we're gonna put some trees over here so that you know the bathrooms are nearby the food area, but you don't have to panic. There we go. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. And let's put another one on the other side of the zoo in turn. Possibly, you know, actually, right? I, I like to put them kind of close by these areas so that guests know they don't have to go too far if they really have to go to the restroom. So let's put it right there and let's see if we can pull that off. Because it's a good use of under the bridge space, if you ask me. All right, let's see if we can get them to walk down this way. And then that also gives our little keepers an extra area they can walk over to. And let's move this tree fern. Looks like people can still get up and down the bridge, all right. Let's keep an eye on this gentleman. Sir, you are a test guinea pig. Oh, you are very uncomfortable, sir. You need to use the restroom terribly. Would you like to be our test guinea pig for the new restroom we've just constructed? I'll give you a coupon. All right, let's see. Yeah, he can get up just fine. Can he use this restroom just fine? Do you see, sir, that there's a bathroom right here? Is it inaccessible to you? Hmm. Let's try putting him over here and see what happens. What about, okay, so he can use this one. So I don't think they're going to recognize the bathroom down here, unfortunately. But that's okay, because we'll just flip it. Ta-da! And then we'll do the path under it right here. There we go. And now, hopefully, they will use it in the future. And we can just gently, nope, we're just going to leave that path there. <laughs> Phew! All right, and there we go. It always gets a little bit more exciting once we start adding people into the zoo. Especially because then we have to start dashing around, making sure they're fed and watered. But let's go ahead and try to get in at least one or two coastal birds today. Because, oh, why are my zookeepers so lazy? Get in there. What do you mean? What do you mean there's nothing to do? Well, I'll give you guys something to do. All right, let's get some coastal birds in here. And I'm thinking some eaters, perhaps. So let's see what our options are real quick in turn. And then we will add in some nice coastal birds. So let's see. <laughs> and then that way it will give everybody something to look at in the water, especially from the terrace. But it will also provide plenty of entertainment for them to see the birds just strutting around. There's the pied elephant. There's There we go. Let's go with the common eater for now. Oh, so lovely. Oh, I love it, I love it. Too bad we don't have albatross. 
That would be kind of amazing. I, I have, I will admit I have a little bit of a soft spot for albatross. But that's because they are quite awesome too. We'll do both of them. We'll do both types of birds. So these guys really appreciate having some, some of their vitamin water. Always very important to provide plenty of the vitamin water for the birds. The, yes, they could drink from this water, but it's very salty. It's got a high salinity content since it's for our saltwater animals. And it is also important to add in their daily vitamins and extra things. Let's see, and we're going to put this just right over here. Hopefully they can reach it okay. But it is important to add in their extra vitamins and things into their water as well. Alright, and then let's go ahead. I want to give them non medium ice flow. No, 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 no. But maybe an ice block with clams. We could pull that off. And they have plenty of fish to chase. Coastal rock formation. We might be able to pull that off right over here. That would be really cool. So we'll see if we can get that done. And then there's a lot of small ground nests that we can put around the exhibit, especially among these spots. There we go. All right, oh, and look at all these trees. We have so many trees again in turn. Oh, I'm so happy. Putting in some coconut palm trees definitely wouldn't be a bad idea. There we go. And now people can have some coconut palm trees over here. There's some dwarf coconut palm trees to be adorable over here. There's some queen palm. Oh, they're so lovely. A little queen palm over here. Maybe put a couple over here because they're very, very pretty. Let's see, dwarf coconut palm. See, we're finally starting to get access to more plants. They know that we're, we're serious about doing our best for the zoo in turn. All right, the date palm tree. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at those big ruffly leaves. And then the little palm trees. There we go. All right, and then what about plants? <gasps> Yay, there's more plants now. There's large eelgrass. Oh, thank goodness. We can put a little bit of it over here. There's little eelgrass. Oh, it's so pretty. We'll just put a little bit of it down here. I bet the fish will appreciate having more to hide in as well. So that should be good for them. There's little kelp grass. Let's see. Quite a few aquatic grasses. Ooh, sea urchins. We'll sprinkle in a few sea urchins here and there. So that they can be decorative pieces as well. Oh, look at all these eggs. Oh dear. Copious amounts of fish caviar, I'm afraid. Oh, the sea rockets, yes! Sea rockets are so pretty. We will start decorating around the zoo with these sea rockets momentarily because they will be fantastic additions. Let's see, there's some more green grass for the nest. They will be fantastic, beautiful foliage additions. So landscaping additions on the way. All right, there we go. We're gonna put more down here. See, and now we can start coming out here and doing like little patches of sea rocket and it'll be lovely. Oh, look at that. And now the guests will have these nice flowers to look at as they walk by. Well, that makes me very happy. All right, anything else? Lots and lots of rocks we could potentially add in, but I think we're good. And then I think it's just adding in the birds. So here we go, we're doing this. This is happening. All right, so how many to add in? Let's do five females. They're not very expensive birds. And ooh, look at the males. Let's just go ahead and do five males too. Oh, so beautiful. And then what about these guys? Hide avocado, and they like mud piles to dig in. So whoops, let's put you right there. Look at these fascinating little mud piles, whoops. I'm gonna put them kind of down where the guests can see them. And let's see, what do they want for enrichment? They also want a nice coastal rock formation. So we'll have to see if we can wiggle this in, like maybe over here perhaps. So we'll try to put that in. They also like small toy balls and they like rubber toys. So we'll try to put those in. And they also like ground nests, so there we go. All right, and let's put a few of them in. Let's just do three or four. So three males. Let's do like two females. And there we go, intern. All right, let the dust settle. Now you guys are gonna be earning your keep, you lazy zookeepers. Oh, here we go. So many birds, look at all the birds. Let's give them all a good scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. 
There you go, guys. Where are y'all headed? <gasps> Look at him! Straight for the mud pile. Oh, that's awesome! Isn't that so cool? And then we can replenish their little mud pile so they have more to eat. Oh, intern, that is just fantastic. Hi, guys! Look at your big old flipper feet. I love it. Oh, I love them. What attractive birds. All right, and then we have everybody getting a drink of their vitamin water back here. Oh, now it feels like a really nice complete exhibit. Oh, look at him go. Into the water. Oh, and look at all the fish. Oh, and the research for the toy bowl is complete. So I'm going to put like two of them back here by where the guests can see in case they want to play with the ball and get their enrichment up. Oh, look, this guy's happy. What does he think about the area? There, watching the educational is very, or er, watching Educator Kim is very educational. Good. I don't see a lot of people stopping right here to look through. And see, everyone's clustered around here again. So I'm beginning to doubt people can see through these fences again. I have a hefty, hefty feeling of doubt yet again in turn that our guests can see through those fences. So let me go ahead and we're just gonna try something out. We're gonna put this glass fence in. And we're going to see what happens. Because that gentleman said he was listening to an educator. Is anyone going to be looking at our animals from this point of view now? Can't wait to see some animals. Watching the educator. Can't wait to see some animals. Is he watching animals? Okay, he's headed to the restroom. Can she see the animals? She's looking towards them. But what does it mean? Oh, and now it's so dark in turn. I can't see a thing. All right, well, the coastal rock formation rock is now researched. So we can add it in. Should we add it in over here? That might mess with our turtle eggs, though. We might want to be careful. I think it'll be okay. Whoops, let's get away from the splashing. Is anyone looking through this fence? Is the little girl talking at all? Pearl is now pregnant! Yay! Pearl is now expecting... All right, so this person is finally looking through some binoculars at the animals. Just the way that everyone was clustered, I just couldn't tell. Like, can they see the animals? Yeah, they seem to be able to see the animals. No! Smelly exhibit time! Smelly exhibit time! Dive, dive, dive! Clean, clean, clean! Oh, tell me that we have... Wait, I don't think we have enough stars yet in turn to be able to get the filters. We definitely need filtration system in this, this entire zoo. Curses. Not close enough to the filtration system just yet. But look at everybody. Oh, everybody's watching. All the animals are happy. There we go. We do have... Hello there. Hi. I'll get out of your way. We do have some guests peeking in. The zookeepers are running back and forth to tend to the animals. I think somebody needed to scrub it up. There you guys go. Yeah, what do you think of that, huh? Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, they're snoozing. Whoops. They're snoozing, intern. Isn't that just precious? Oh, my goodness. Look at them. Oh. That's adorable. Good. Everyone seems pretty content. We just really have to work hard to keep this water clean. I wish the zookeepers would help out on that, but I think now they've finally got more things to do. All right. These people are pretty happy. And these people are pretty happy. Yeah, they can see through those fences. I don't know why I thought they couldn't. Because no one stops here. And this is the best spot to see the fish from. Or the fish, the birds from. But I guess if they're here, then they probably want to see, uh, see fish. Alright, so now they need a little bit of entertainment and enrichment and socialization. And they should be able to get plenty of that from here. And we can also put in the block ice with clams. So that hopefully they can nibble on those. There we go. So I would think in turn that our next job, hang in there little spotted eagle ray, why can you not get the food? Our next job is probably to make a different area for the rays and I think what we're going to do is turn this area into a bit of a deeper pool for the rays so that they can come and just be in this nice big pseudo touch pool and they'll have more room to go back and forth without any interruptions. We can throw in a whole bunch of the fish in here and it can just be kind of like a ray, a ray touch pool where they can relax and enjoy and swim back and forth and be beautiful. 
So I think that'll be a good idea in turn. And you've had so many fantastic ideas that you've been leaving on my desk. I am totally paying attention to those. Very excited and aware of the awesomeness that will be coming up. Look at all the birds now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I think we need to get a new a new place for our spotted eagle rays. Because they're just having such a hard time getting anywhere close to their food. And managing to get enough to eat. So we'll, we'll move them ASAP next thing. Because this is just a little too small for them. And look at all of our happy guests. Oh, yes, this is going to be fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, all right, enter. And we also need to keep an eye on when the turtle eggs are going to hatch. Should be any day now. Oh, and apparently we need to start working on playgrounds and kiosks because people are bored. <gasps> wonderful. All right, intern, let's go get some lunch. And then it looks like the turtle eggs are going to hatch any minute now. And we can name more of the babies. Oh, this will be so exciting. All right, go grab something to eat over at the burger joint, and I will meet you back here after lunch, intern. Bye-bye.